Parenting in prison tonight, a look at what happens when a parent is locked up from the perspective of one parent and one son. That is the subject of tonight's Vegas Lost. Here's our John Trainer. And Corey Crossman watched his kids grow up from afar. Shay Somerville navigated his life with a father behind bars. We watched the ripples a man creates when his decisions hit the surface. For 20 years, Corey Crossman sat in a prison cell. He split those decades in state prison and federal lockup in Florida. For 20 years, his kids grew up. They split those decades between childhood and navigating the difficult road into adulthood. They did it without him. He lives with regret. I have a 30-year-old daughter who is currently incarcerated, and I've missed most of her life, and it's been the biggest regret of my life is missing my kids' lives. Crossman's youngest daughter is now 26. His oldest daughter, 31, and in prison. They were kids when Crossman was sentenced to prison for his role in a drug crime organized by the Aryan Warriors. We were there those years ago when Corey was arrested. His girlfriend defended him to our cameras. His family has supported him, support that he said helped turn his life around. I can't put into words how impactful it was to have my family stick by me and stand by me and be there for me even when I wasn't there for myself. Uh, when I did decide to change my life and do things differently, it was their support and their love for me that gave me the strength to do the things I've done and to make the changes I've made. Crossman's family tree has roots in prison. So does Shea Summerfields. It's a, it's a cycle that I want to break, you know. I've been in prison, my brother's been in prison, his brother's been in prison. So, you know, I'm, when I have my children, I want to be able to break that cycle. Summerfield's life has been a series of sentences. His most recent stretch, 23 months. He's grown up with it. His dad has been in prison for 37 years. That lack of a father at home, Shea believes, has shaped his life. I've never asked nobody for help, you know what I'm saying? And this is my first time asking for help. And now I'm knowing what to be, how to become a man, you know? My father's been in prison, so I didn't have that, that, that you know, someone to look, to look forward to. Both men are now living the consequences of parenting from a jail cell. And both are at a fork in the road in the Hope for Prisoners program, looking to a future with their families. Yeah, that link to a family, that link that it has to prison is so important. Hope for Prisoners now has classes on parenting for those people recently getting out. Summerfield, by the way, going to see his dad possibly next year when he ends a 38-year prison sentence. Wow. First time since he was three. Uh, Crossman planning on meeting his son for the first time in 20 years. Next year, he lives in Utah. Family reunions that, that have been decades in the making. Yeah, sounds like it. It's all about trying to break that cycle, as you mm -hmm. point out, often the children of incarcerated uh, people. We hear that over and over again from the young kids that we, we talk to. Well, hopefully they'll share what they're learning in this program with right. their kids and that one guy with his father. Right. Thanks so much, John. Hey, if you have ideas you would like John to check out for his Vegas Lost series, you can email those to VegasLost at News3LV.com or just uh, give us a phone call. The number for that, 702-909-2138. And in just a few minutes, if you'd like to uh, communicate with John directly, he'll be logging onto our News3 Facebook page to take your questions and comments live.